Good morning everyone, it's CJ and I'm just looking around my work area and kind of got to laughing about the things that I use in my crafting, <coughs> excuse me, and a lot of it is things that everybody uses, well I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people use that are doing crafting but I, I thought I wonder what is the most unusual thing that people use to craft with so I'm going to go through some of the things that I use and then maybe you can either post or list or show a picture or what have you of something that you use and it might help somebody else so here we go. Right here you see these are just rocks and I collect a lot of rocks to paint on. Here's another bunch of rocks that I paint on and you can see I've got them in a filter's can. So that's one big thing. I'll set that down on the floor here real quick so I can make some room. Excuse me. Allergies are real bad this morning. This is an old jar I got at a, oh, I think it was an auction. I've got three or four like this that I save things in. And you can see there's all kinds of caps in there, bottle caps. And these bigger caps like that, that's from the boost drink that I have every day. And what I do is I make these little pin cushions out of with those caps, those bigger ones. So try not to let anything go to waste. We all use these little composition books like this, either the bigger ones or the little ones. And we make journals out of them. We use the pages for <coughs> doing our drilling by five. A lot of fun. I use a lot of book pages and music sheets. This is just one of the things that I make. I make these little ornaments out of them. Okay, maybe use tissue paper or the sandwich wrap type paper like this. And they're good too. Go ahead and stamp out an image on. I pick up these little cups like this. There's several places where you can get a salad at. And they'll have these cups and I always pick up maybe like just one extra. These are hearing aid battery containers. And they're nice for throwing just little tiny things in, especially if you want to put it in your go bag. Altoid box. I think everybody has an Altoid box with something in it. And they're good for so many, many things, either just for storage or to actually make into something. candy box. My dear husband, when he was working, the uh, company always gave out these candy boxes, so I have a bunch of those. Old doilies like this. They're great to either like spray paint through or you can actually you know, cut them up and use pieces. I also use them on some of my furniture. <laughs> okay, the old CD boxes like this. I have an extremely hard time getting these uh, acrylic stamps back into their little plastic uh, packages that they come in. So I'll use these and just mark on there like this. Paper Studio. I can see what it is as far as these are quotes. 
on the back, I'll put a number, and then I have a book that I have that lists everything. I've also taken the time to go in and stamp off what I have. That way I can easily go through the book and, and pick something out. If you have someone in your family that shoots with a gun or knows somebody, or you can even just go to a um, sporting goods store and you can get these cases like this. I love them because, and I've got a couple of them, they'll hold these uh, little stamps like this that they're not quite, oh, I want to say, the, the opening is probably close to a half inch, so that makes it real nice. And then if you've got some of these smaller stamps, it fits in there real well. Along that same line, this is one that has the bullet casings like this, and these little tiny stamps like this fit in it real nice. Okay, envelopes. I have stacks of envelopes. People send things to me, and I save those, make envelope journals out of them. Sometimes they'll have a super nice area that has been stamped, and I may even cut that apart and use it. This is a product that I've purchased online. Um, Shannon Green had mentioned it. And it works real well to put over the top of something that you have either glued or painted. This is just a cosmetic sponge that I have purchased. And this is just furniture wax. Now, a lot of times when I use Mod Podge, I will put very thin layers on, let it dry, and then I'll put a very thin layer of this over the top of it and then wipe it off. That way it really, really keeps it from sticking to other things. And you wouldn't have to use this particular brand because there's all kinds of furniture wax out there. But it helps. That's a good product. Okay, I use a lot of the tubes like this, either as, oh, I don't know, their bathroom tissue or their paper towels, and some of these are the tubes that come with wrapping paper, and anything that you really, you want to just hold upside down like this, you know, it works real well. I've seen a lot of people do this, and they get all foo-foo and decorated, and you know, that's great. That's, you know, I have no problem with that. It's just not my thing. I want to just use it like it is. And when it gets messed up, I replace it. Okay, this, all this is, I keep a container like this. Um, well, let's see if I can back up and show you what it is here. Do you recognize that? It's a cereal box. And all I did was just cut the ends of the cereal box off like that. And then turned it the other way and it makes an excellent file folder. And it will stand up like so. See? And then I've got an elastic band around there. cereal box like that is great for creating either file folders or you know, your journal covers. Okay, here in the background, you can see I've got these are old wooden um, pop bottle holders. And I picked those up over the years. I've had them many, many years. I would guess you could still get them, you know, like maybe a flea market or something. But what I like is I can put the bottle in there this way and see what color it is because now they don't always have that little color on the end. 
Okay. I also use a lot of these bottles like this. I have one for gesso. Gesso is a product that, you know, if you're going to get ready to paint something, you can paint it over, say, a piece of wood or canvas or what have you, and it gives it tooth so that when you put paint on there, it, it uh, will adhere real well. Gesso is also a product in which you have to be careful. If you go ahead and stick your brush in and out of the container a lot, and it's not been washed real well, it, it will get a little, um, oh, I don't know, smell to it. Sometimes you'll even get a little uh, film on there. So I keep it in a squirt bottle. Just pull that off, squirt it down, and I don't have to touch it, and it stays fresh. Okay, this, I'm going to back up is, I think you can see what that is, that is an old donut box and I'm getting ready to turn it into a journal. See? That'd be sweet. This particular journal is one in which I'm collecting things that have an area I can write on. A lot of times with the trashy junk journals, people have asked, you know, well, how do I write on these? There's, you know, do I add things? Well, I always look for something that, you know, have an area that you can write on, like each one of these, you know, it's not completely covered. And then what I'll do is I'll just stick them inside this donut box and save it for another time when I can get one put together. And so you could write on that or write on the back. Like so this, these two were given to me. They're Mandela uh, pieces. And I dearly love them. I want to be sure and people come back to see those. So I'm going to use these in this so I can write on this side. And then here's just some of these that have been given. And I've got a bunch of these I can add. Here's a calendar. And what are the book pages? What is this? This is something somebody sent. I think that's a cool picture. So I can put that in there. Still have that nice picture, but right on the back. This is a, I don't know what is that? It's a picture from the calendar. Let's see and so forth. And all of that will go into this box that I'm saving. And there's a donut box. And it's just kind of ongoing. I'll wait until it's pretty thick before I do much more with it. Okay. This is paper from packing supplies. This paper, I ordered something from Amazon. They had a bunch of it in there, so I just unpacked uh, the box and set it aside. I use bo books for a lot of different things besides just journaling. I have one book that I use for nothing but putting in my scraps of uh, napkins. And uh, I never just stay at the front, okay? You need to go front, middle, and back, that way your pages will lay nice and flat. And this book, I didn't start too long ago, so still working on it. These, oops, here's another book. This book I use just as a wipe off. Um, and then sometimes I'll get a page of color that I need, and I will tear it out and use it. But it works real well. These are books that the used bookstore had that were going to the trash. And I will go in there oh, a couple times a year and ask him if he has anything he's throwing away. And he generally does. These are these little books that we have like outside the um, grocery stores or the restaurants. And I, they've got real super heavy pages in it. really like those. And they make great journals. So I will pick up several. Uh, let's 
let's see here. This right here is more packing material. Uh, my husband used to bring this home all the time. And then, in fact, this is a project I'm getting ready to work on. I'm going to show this well enough. Can't get back far enough. But these are some of the drink coasters that I've painted. And I plan to mount them on here in different ways. Uh, spread that out a little bit. But I've got a bunch more that I need to, to paint and get on there. But you can kind of see what I'm talking about. The drink coasters. <clears throat> uh, Bill has sent me a bunch of them. And I really appreciate that. Okay. Just about done here, I think. Okay, paint swatches, uh, sponges, cool noodle, um, running out of time here, so bear with me. This is a photo sticky, you can put stuff on. I use. I use all kinds of playing cards, clothespins. These are from the yogurt shop bottle bottom. This is real neat because you can stamp and roll it. It's a piece of aluminum, aluminum raw material that you can um, use as a pulley, but it was made wrong, so I got it. Corks, vegetable bags, hook and loop, these old containers like this, a computer, top pad, part of a file folder. Okay, I use these to open up some of my bottles. That makes a great press, whole press. Okay. That, if you need uh, something that you don't want to punch a hole into, these are good to scruff up your paper, the popsicle sticks. Okay, and then this is the most unusual for me. <clears throat> it is a piece of a garbage can that my husband cut up when it fell apart. And actually the can was just used for leaves, but it's really nice to cut on. So, there you go. Let me know if you've got something unusual that others can use, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.